Ladies and gentlemen, the time is here. The time has come. I've done kind of a overall renovation. I've adjusted the minimums of pretty much every item in the store to more accommodate a a cleaner backstock. I'll go into detail on that later on. I still have about 20,000 left over, so I can still order minimums because I just ordered one of each item, one of each new item rather, to put down facings for it and then set minimums and the prices and, and all that. And uh, when we get back tonight, I'll be able to just order minimum and we should be able to restock the store first thing in the morning as if nothing has changed. But uh, without further ado, I'll show off what I've done. Firstly, we got a big open sign. Look, I even got like a little axe logo thing. Look at that, my God. It's, 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 it's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm medium happy. There's exactly two things about this that I'm actually pretty pleased with, and I'll let you guess which two that is. I've got room for my registers, certainly. I think two more registers. If I get a fifth register here, this will be a little more centered up. I, uh, I'm okay with the whole sign being off-center, generally. And then the store itself, as you can see. A new department. A new floor. I was going to expand grocery out a lot more, but the shelving is so ungodly expensive and then trying to buy the minimums and all that, it would just be way too much. So we'll have to do that slowly over time. And uh, yeah, it's just it's it's too much. I don't want to have empty shelves. I don't want to risk it. I was thinking like if there isn't even a facing set on the shelf, like if this is just empty inside, then customers wouldn't care and they wouldn't throw a fit like, oh, I wonder if they're going out of business. But I don't, I don't want to risk it. Um, so yeah, I, I ordered just one of each new item, just so I could get the facing set for it, and then adjust the prices. Minimums overall throughout pretty much the entire store has changed. I went through and I looked at things like this, where it's like, okay, well I'm holding 12 on the shelf. So, considering that this is counting what's on the shelf, and I know this because if I order just one of this guy, an example, I have one in storage, it's this guy on the shelf. So in storage isn't really in storage, it's just in the building somewhere. Uh, so I counted up the facings and I'm just maintaining 12. I don't need to have 20 of this. We don't have that much selling. And I don't have that much selling because there's alternatives going on. I'm 99% sure a customer will come in and be like, I am looking for a high blue bar uh, grocery item. And they'll look and be like, oh, bang, this is what I'm after. They'll grab one of this and move on. That's their day. That's their shopping done. Maybe there's a second thing they buy. Maybe. I don't know how that's encouraged. I don't know how to make that happen. But uh, because of that, by having so much variety, because I want variety, I'm sort of inhibiting myself in a way, and I don't need to have quite so much backstock for all this stuff. Um, rather than looking at it as I want 20 of this can, look at it as I want 20 of this high blue grocery item, and 20 of this high blue grocery item, and 20 of this one, so it'd be 60 of this high blue value uh, grocery can, which is way too much. We don't sell them. We only have like 300 customers a day. It was way too much. So for a lot of stuff, it's just however much I have out on the floor is how much I order minimum. All of the liquor is like that, except a few exceptions because they got duplicate items around here and there. So we pretty much order enough to fill the shelf and then that's it. That'll have to get us through the day and it most certainly will. And we should be able to more easily tell what all is selling them that way because yeah i think everybody comes back here for a particular alcohol item they never give this shot a ch there's nothing wrong with this stuff they just never give it a chance because there's something else that they would rather get that's cheaper i i don't know exactly 100 percent another another nice poster there to advertise the lemons to get the lemon sales boosted a bit i don't think it actually bothers with like affecting sales but i like it i think they look nice i like posters these are great <laughs> <laughs> I I don't I don't mind saying I did a pretty good job with these things I think man uh, these pizzas I don't think I adjusted at all I need to adjust these still the pepperoni and Hawaii's I'm just going to go with twelve so we have a little bit of backstock because there's not that many facings of it and the other pizzas that we have are a different variety entirely that's high green a little bit of blue this is just mostly blue a bit of green it's a different internally it's a different item entirely so i don't really mind it. four eight twelve we'll go with like 16. how about 
Oh, we got Hawaii's out here too. Okay, so I'll say 22 of you. And then salads. Yeah, we're hardly selling salads. Um, because high blue, high green food items. I don't know. Maybe because it's not a window item, people finally realize that this is overpriced and garbage. Because it's super duper is. But uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 18. We've got, let's say, 22. So we have a, a bit of backstock to cycle through because that's... I think the only item of its kind. Then with the price reduce, it should be a little bit better selling. So yeah, um, I mean the signs are the signs are accurate. I mean we got salt on this side. It's disgusting looking. I know. Soup on this side. It's it's all soups. And finally, just the purple label stuff over here. I took it out from over there. We got the toilet paper and cleaners. I got the fancy. One of the fancy diamond toilet papers in. We'll see how that goes. I don't know. And then some general cleaners, some super wash, and some eco-friendly stuff. Uh, on this side, I got some of the, like, the liquid cleaners and such. We got some tasty dream... <laughs> uh, tasty dreams. Neutral. Um, organics ultra soft. And also diamond standard ultra clean. Look at that. Very fancy. Very nice. And then, yeah, the toilet papers. Let's get out of this view. Oh, God. Uh, was there something else here that's... No, it's it's just that for the most part. Okay. And there was some stuff that's like, this is the super, super strength. And this one's industrial strength. And oh, this one's lab strength. It's like... <laughs> what? That was kind of funny. Uh, it's the same item, though. Instant meals we got. Ketchup. Mayonnaise we got. No, mustard. I got uh, some Miracle Whip stuff. Miracle... Butter? What What are you? Oh, Miracle Nutty. Yeah, okay. Tasty Dreams Miracle Nutty. So it's like a... It looks like a hazelnut spread, but I'm going to call it peanut butter. And then you have the Miracle Cream. Tasty Dreams Cocoa Pops. Look at that. Jeez, there's bits of chocolate in that. Goddamn. Some flaky bits. It's like a uncomfortable spoon. It looks like it would just jam right into right into the side of my hand and of course the ketchup some original flavor yes it really is so fantastic <laughs> wow <laughs> and i i heard rumors man i guess it's true imagine having the audacity as that is like your little uh, slogan like yeah we're fucking awesome jeez <laughs> okay uh, it's just a resorting of some of the other stuff. I quite like having this one horizontal, but this one vertical. I don't know, it breaks it up a little bit. This was... Ah. This toilet paper. That can go back up. Because it's a pretty hot seller, so I don't really mind having so much of it. I also dropped the price again to be a little more in line, because it was slight, like a few bucks higher than uh, three times what we paid because I think it was selling too quickly, but now with more variety there, it should be fine. Rice shelf, I think this is all rice, because, yeah, all rice. And then all flour. Coffee's got a couple new coffee varieties, and we got some diamond standard, I don't know, just coffee. And then uh, some organics, uh, natural, fair trade coffee. Nice. Uh, organics uh, veg, just to round this out with some more stuff. I've got, oh yeah, the cool, awesome gamer clothing, right? I was, because I was looking at go, uh, going for clothing, and I found some game on pants. We got, I took an arrow to the knee shirt and a rush be tzika bliat thing shirt. It's awesome. I love it. It's perfect. So we got gamer clothing going on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's, it's amazing. Uh, shoes are just shoes. Some of these shoes are ridiculous, like... Like, uh, what do we got here? I think these these blue things here with the little brown stripe at the bottom, these guys, how much do you think these are worth? I don't know, like 60, 80? Nah, fuck out of here, 120. What about these things? These yellow flimsy cardboard things with a bit of grass attached to it. Uh, 10, 20? Hell no, 140. These are even more expensive. What? These blue and green ugly loafer looking guys? I don't know, 60? No, 330. Sit the fuck down. 
It's insanity. What? So we'll see how that goes. I have no idea. Some very expensive stuff there. And then some basic white and black shirts. Uh, stone wash, knife washed, acid wash, jeans and stuff. And then some more just pants, lounge pants, shorts, some skirts. Some more loungy pants and a bit of shirt. And then some some jackets and heavier shirts. And this is a work in progress. This will eventually all be just more grocery stuff. We'll probably have all the grocery and cleaning items in the game then at that point, ex expanding out. I measured I could have a gap here, like a pretty sizable gap, and then another four registers, and we'll still be perfectly okay for space. It goes out to like here. So I think we'll do that. Four more shelves, and then a nice gap so people can get through. And, uh... And yeah, and maybe I can even adjust the walls a little bit so that the way through is here. I don't know. So they, like, kind of part the sea, so to speak. And then clothing will be out that way more, and then frozen along the uh, corner wall back there when that gets done. So, still a bit of room to expand and all that. I guess this doesn't need to be wonky shelf, does it? Thinking about it. I think it's probably quite okay. Just being normal. Well, nor normal-ish. Alright. Oh god. Oh god, they're totally- okay, whatever. It's fine. It's good enough. Nobody will notice. It's it's our little secret, okay? <laughs> Forget about it. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what I've been doing. That's, that's how that went. That took a decent little while. We're okay to wrap it up, though, I think. The minimums are set. The prices are, I think, all set. Clothing? I, I have no idea what to do with clothing. It, it's prices just all over the place. So we'll just see. We'll see how it goes. But I think we're okay to wrap up the day go to the office 5,000 rent we spend every day ugh just ugh money spent 69,000 in inventory 10,000 ish in property 5,500 in articles from doing the ordering man it's rough it's really really rough <laughs> but uh, hopefully we're getting set Oh, God. Okay, Kylie wants it. Yeah, no, no courses. Salaries for people. God, Portia. Oh, no. Portia. Rob. Okay, no, Portia's okay. That's fine. She's cheap. With 14000 left over, what can I do for groceries? It should be a bit expensive, but... Uh... Yeah, nothing so... 650 articles missing, 51 grand. Yikes. Well, let's, uh, can I bank that much even? Max amount, 50 grand. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. One loan for, for 55,000. Bang. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in debt. That's okay. We'll make it back. I'm confident. Hey, Mr. Hooker, had your own little clothing store. Nice. Many years at a restaurant, you taught in sales. Simone Perry. Mm hmm. You're not expensive, but, uh,. Yeah, marketing and all that though. That's too much. And uh Mr. Hooker, you do a bit of do a bit of crocheting on the side. Nice. Oh, and you're grateful. Oh my god. Restocking Mark he might be our first marketer. It could be. I don't yet have anywhere for marketers. I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. Look, we'll try it. I really don't think I need it, but we'll try it. Where you at? Marketing. Okay, but hey, for now, enjoy the time off, man. You've earned it. Welcome. <laughs> okay. Rob's got skill points there, but he is the restocker who we're avoiding giving points to. And you... Uh... 
Yeah, stop with that special price garbage. Najwa, you work in the day. No, you're not. It's your day off. Go get educated. I think you were the one... Yeah, you're demanding, so I wasn't going to, but... Oh, well. I forgot for that brief moment you got lucky. You snuck it in there. But yeah, that's looking quite okay. Plenty of space. I like it a lot. And I can't fit a lot of shelves here, too. I just don't know what to put there. No idea. Alright, let's do it. Big day. The first day after reopening. We got 12 bucks in interest. Look at that savings account doing things for us. <laughs> what, a, what a big help that is. Man. And change to the floor, I think, helps a little bit, too. It's nice not having just that nasty gray. It's it's nothing too bright. It's a bit dark. I like it. It'll look really good. Because the clothing department, I think I keep these colors. I kind of like this not really copper and... And black look, it's it's actually a, a shiny black on some surfaces, matte black on others, but black and orange go pretty well together, and I think for clothing that could be okay. Nothing too wild, but the clothes can pop, you know? And then that'll look really good at the wood floor, too. Alright, come on, let's go, let's go. Get any. With the readjusted minimums, I don't think I need to have quite so much storage space back here, and these shelves should slow down quite a lot. Like, a lot of a lot. I would think. We'll see. Because, yeah, like I said, otherwise I'm 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 picking up like 60 of what's effectively internally the same item. It's just a different skin, but I think the game doesn't care. I'm pretty sure the game doesn't care. So I'm picking up 60 of it when I'm only selling like 12. I've always got 40 or so in the back stock. I don't need it here. Get it out of here. I don't, uh... I don't need to have so much back here. There's no reason to, as far as I can tell. A couple, sure, to keep the shelf full. Customers like that. But we're not selling so much that I need to worry about that. And then if I can make this room a bit smaller, because we don't have so much back stock, then even better. That's more floor space. That's more break room space. I could actually get that marketer in here somewhere if we don't have to have this massive, what, five by three? I think it is. Uh, backstock room. Some of that can be a break room. I could send people on breaks. Coffee machine. A table to sit at. My god. Imagine. Yeah, the shelves back here are pretty full. But uh, a lot of this is the excess backstock that we'll have to sort through. Alright, very nice. Hopefully we get some more folks... Out and about down here, bumbling around, being in the way rather than out back doing the electronic stuff. I would hope. I'm going for just kind of like a scattered helter skelter look on the jeans, because you know what people are like. They never put it back. Alright, I think some shoes are already selling. This is. This is shoes. Very interesting. Hey. Okay. You say so. I mean, I'm a little bit busy right now, ma'am, but uh, somebody else, I'm sure, has a minute somewhere. Uh-oh. Guess who didn't order minimums of this stuff? I'll grab, uh... 12? I think 12. What about this? Did I do this? Okay, this I did. Good, good, good. Big soup aisle. Very cool. Big salt aisle. Very nice. The shelves are messed up with the salt aisle, too. Though I don't know how it happened. They just got really wonky at some point. I think a customer rammed it with their cart. Broke one of the hinges a bit. It just sags. It is what it is. It ain't pretty. But uh, look, I'm not. I'm not replacing. I'm not. Re I'm not resetting the shelves to fix that blunder. No, fucking somebody pegged it wrong. They'll fix it. I ain't the one. Not my job. Gotta, you're the manager. Not my job. Thank you. Oh yeah. 
Game on, brother. Nice. Hey. Very cool. Look at that. Buying the gamer gear. Hey, got a second. That'll up your FPS by at least two. You want a better modem? I'll get you a modem. Or router. Or maybe hey, even hey. like one of those modem router combos. I don't know. There you go. Have Thank you. Mr. Pepper? Yo, Pepper, where you at? I know you're working Hi. today. Dude, I found your twin. Thanks. Like, no, really, it's you. It It is actually you. The same same complexion. Everything. My god. Hey, Pepper, check a, take a look at this guy. Uh, I'm not comfortable. <laughs> Dude, just buy the salt. Come on. Thanks. Oh my god, all the shoes sold out? Okay, all but one. One shoe is left. Pretty much all, all the clothing is selling out, too. What? You people are nuts. They love new stuff. Wow, okay. Uh, I need to have either more backstock or more variety. I don't really have a dedicated clothing area yet, so more backstock for that is fine. Oh my god, unbelievable. What's the story with this stuff? Hey, can you nobody wants it? Too fancy? Diamond exfoliation not sounding appealing enough. Hmm. Thanks. See what I can do about that. I don't really want to drop the price more though. I might just ignore it. They'll buy it if they need it. If they really need to wipe their ass, they'll buy it. Oh yeah. Thank you. Some of the new stuff is selling too. That's nice. I think there's a little bit of excitement about uh, new things in the store. It might. Uh, Excuse me. They might prefer the new stuff that you didn't have before, you know. Oh come on! The one time. Ugh. What? One day I'll learn. Probably not. Thanks. Closing time. Everybody, get ready to get out of here. You better run. When we get a clothing department up, I'm going to get another register out there, too. We'll do that for sure, so they don't have to run so far. Yeah, kind of like the electronics here. They've got their own their own register, and technically liquor could have its own, but like, this is right there. Just come on, just get over here and use this one. Jeez, we got, uh, we got swept up pretty hard and all that, didn't we? Man. A lot of sales. I think a lot of sales, a lot of new stuff, 11,000 wages on a Wednesday is disgusting, but I think we're finally at that point now where we're spending 10,000 on wages is a little bit, uh, a little bit necessary. We got a lot of people looking for help and stuff. 139,000 projected profit that day. 300 customers? No, 300 visitors, 270 customers, 90% hit rate. Would be cool if we could stay in the 90s. I don't know if we can, though. Basket size 2.7 and average sales 641. 2.7 basket. More and more people are buying three items now because I think we have more categories going on. They're um, a little more hyped about it. Seven emails. What? We also got tourists in town. 20 tourist pensioners at 13. Okay. Fine. Order minimums, 544, 95 grand. Bam, done. That loan, bam, gone. 18 grand left over. If I wanted to get a little staff room area, which I, I could shoehorn in a little bit. A little bit, alternatively, just something like that. Could also work, just so I get, like, a computer in there. Do well, I want to do that? Get that marketer going a bit? Like, I guess we can try. I'll try. I really don't think I need one. But, uh... We'll do it. We'll just... There for now, how about... There. Get a computer in there. Maybe a coffee if it fits. I don't think it'll fit. Maybe, though. Nah, we'll see. Give it a go. Because, yeah, when I tried it, it just seemed to just add more people into the, like, the pool to show up if you're a low-pop city. But since I'm hovering around 300, 
maybe that's what I need to to get to the next step. Or maybe 300 is just how it is. Maybe that's just as high as it goes. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to up the minimums of the clothing. Oh, well. It'll be fine. All right. Staff room. Mmm. Nice. <laughs> A computer. There, you can feel like an important boss man, yeah? Walk in. Somebody can sit down here. We got a coffee, even? Oh, shit, look at that. We can... We can fit a coffee. There you go. It's done. Coffee is in. I don't want to hear anybody complain. This chick don't want to buy anything. What do you want from me? I would never consider buying any of this. What is it you want? High green's out. High blue is out. Green and blue both is out. You actually want a monitor. Fuck it, lady. Look, buy a monitor. What the hell? Thanks. I was going to see if I could maybe talk her into a nice clothing or something, but... Then I was curious, you know, what does she actually want? She just doesn't want to shop. She doesn't want to be here. Look, lady, just go then. I don't have to deal with your ass. Shoo! Oh my god, all that's gone already. What? Dude, clothing is nuts. People love this stuff. Like, it's way expensive, but they don't really care. They want it. They need it. I don't think they heard of clothes before. I don't know what they're wearing, but clearly they never knew what clothes were before. And they're like, my god, wait, I can buy this stuff. I can get more of it. Does everybody just have, like, one shirt, one pants, and the concept of buying extra never occurred to them? Maybe. Could be. Thanks. Meanwhile, back here, we doing okay? Everything dandy? Like, because, yeah, like, the bottles that I've got here, like, this is, like, what, like, 38 or something like that bottles? And, and this is a bunch of bottles. Like, you store so much on one shelf. This little liquor department would be able to cover, like, 2,000 customers worth of shopping, I think. It's, it's a bit wild. Can you, help me? you really just need like a small liquor section because you fit so much on one shelf and people don't buy that much of it. Hey. Hey, a little I help. think that's what's going on with that. So as we... One day, maybe, possibly, if we get there, uh, one day when we can start getting several hundred people, we might see more of the liquor stuff finally being sold. Nothing wrong with it again. It's just... Uh, yeah, we just we're not selling enough of it for people to to dip into that variety. Hey, can you pay a little help? Hey. Man, okay. this is this is getting full though. Hi. Things are being bought out. Seconds. It's feeling good. We're making money. Thank you. Thank you. Be able to expand uh, maybe next week again. Expand out the grocery shelves. Expand out the. Well, actually, yeah, I think what I'd like to do first, con considering how successful this has all been so far, I think next up is tear down this wall to expand out the gorge. We get a dedicated frozen and uh, veg department. Get a produce thing going on.